welcome back to Handmade. I'm Jenny. Summer is officially winding down and I am over here having a hard time coping. The last few months have been working outside in the garden and playing outside in the woods. And honestly, I'm not really ready to give it all up. But luckily today I have the perfect project to help hold on to that last little bit of summer. What better way to create year long summer vibes than with plants? And what better way to display those plants than in adorable little hanging planters? Today we are making simple little pinch pot hanging planters with a colorful twist. Stick around to see how. Because we are working with white oven baked clay, be sure to start with clean hands and a clean work surface. So let's start by breaking off a chunk of clay a bit smaller than a ping pong ball. Soften it in your hands and work into a ball. Then press your thumbs into the ball to start to form the pot. Continue to work with the clay, pressing your thumbs in and pulling up with your other two fingers until the walls are about a quarter of an inch thick. I don't really want it to be perfect because I like an organic fill. The fun part is that each one will be totally unique. So once you get the shape about how you'd like, we're gonna work on smoothing it a bit. So like I said, I like the kind of organic shape, but I don't like the texture as much that's caused by my fingerprints. Luckily, there is a hack for that. Rubbing alcohol melts polymer clay. It only takes a little, so simply dip a paintbrush into the alcohol and dab it on. Then gently smooth the surface with your fingertips. I also like to smooth the edges. Repeat as needed, but be careful to only use as much alcohol as you need. Using too much may cause your pot to crack. Next step is to punch holes using a wooden skewer. I'm punching three evenly spaced holes. I like to go back after and clean up the edges of each hole. Now it's time for paint. Yes, we are going to paint before we bake. So the best paint for polymer clay is acrylic because it won't crack. I'm just using this artist acrylic that I already had. To keep it simple, I stick with three colors, but you can do a whole rainbow if you'd like. This is where you get to make it your own. You can see that this acrylic goes on really nicely. It covers well and isn't too matte. I'm painting three colorful stripes, easy peasy. Once they are done baking and have cooled, it is time to turn these pinch pots into hanging pinch pots. Measure out about six times the length you want your pot to hang. Thread the twine through the first hole and then through the wooden ring. Thread through the second hole and back through the wooden ring. Repeat again with the third hole and tie off to the beginning of the twine. So you may need to mess with it just a little bit to get all of the pieces the same length, but that is it. Just pop a tiny succulent in and you are good to go. Well, how fun and simple was this? These are so cute and so colorful. I'm going to hang them all in the window in my office. So I have a whole collection of them and I can't wait to watch them grow this winter. Let me know where you would hang yours in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Yeah.